This morning we are making a historic trip from Los Angeles to Bay Area in our Tesla P85. We are moving our daughter to UC Berkeley. We are starting this morning from Los Angeles with a plan to get to the Bay Area this afternoon. We started with a full charge last night, the so-called max range charge, which charged to 265 miles. On the map, we can hit this button, and find where the superchargers are. We are right here in Los Angeles, planning to hit supercharger here and here before getting to the Bay Area. We are on I-5 and there's construction going on. Looks like we're driving on the wrong side of a freeway. That's a freeway center divider. And we're driving on the southbound side of I-5. Okay, we just passed the t Pass at 4,400 feet of elevation. And you can see we're using a lot of electricity going uphill. And now we're on a descent and we are now using less energy. And you can see we're going downhill now. Okay, we are driving toward our first charge station. Our first stop, Tihon Pass. And look, there's one guy over there already. We are at our first charge station. We have driven almost 80 miles. And we have a range of 160 miles left. And we are making a decision whether we are going to charge here or just go on to Harris Ranch. We are 160 miles away and we still have 169 miles charged. So sounds like we can make it to Harris Ranch without charging here. What should we do? Charge it. Take a bolt. Charge it. Charge it? Okay, this is our charge station. Press on this and it opens up. Okay, we're charging. So this charge station at Tihan Ranch uh, is next to a complex of businesses. McDonald, In and Out, Starbucks. Panda Express, Wendy's, place to sleep, and I see a Tesla right there at Mobile gas station. Looks like he's using the windshield cleaner. We've been charging for about 10 minutes. We already got 44 miles. We are up to 240 miles range. Okay, making a stop here at petrol stop. Not to gas up, but to wash the windshield. And we went in there and got some supplies from the shop. And going north, our option is stopping here at Harris Ranch or going directly to Gilroy, which is 227 miles away. With a full charge, we can get 265 miles. We can probably make it there in one charge, but to play safe, we probably will stop here at Gilroy. So that's 116 miles away from where we are. And at 221 miles of range, I think we can get there. Now we are driving on I-5, trailing behind a truck. Although we're getting excellent efficiency. Let's just try to pass the truck. Okay, we are almost at stop number two. Here we are at Supercharger Station at Harris Ranch. And... We have 80 miles left. We started at 220 miles, so after a 150 mile drive uh, at 342 watt per mile, we're here with 80 miles left. The 
time is 11.33. We're going to have lunch, but I think the charge will be done before the lunch is over. And here's something interesting. You see while you're charging, there's a warning sign. And it tells you, charge cable connected, unable to drive. So I look over here, charge cable connected. If I try to put it in drive, it won't let me, obviously. You're connected to a charger. It would be a disaster if you drive off with the cable attached. And here we use uh, our Tesla app to show the location of the car. The car is still in the parking lot. Nobody has stolen it. And we're here having lunch. We're charged up to 161 now, and we've been here for about 15 minutes. We are about one hour at lunch. We're back. We just turned on the AC of the car from inside the restaurant because we saw that the interior temperature was 94 degrees. And we have a pet fish in there that we are transporting to Northern California. Right there. Oh, so I turned on the AC while we we're having lunch and the car is now nice and cool. We are almost done with charging. Now we have to make a decision on where to stop next. We are right here. And to get to Northern California, we will go through Gilroy and then Fremont Tesla factory. Gilroy will be about just a hundred some miles. This one will be 150 miles. Let's see, navigate. Okay, 152 miles. And we'll be there at 3.13. It is now 12.43. We're here at Gilroy Supercharger Station, right in the middle of a parking lot. We made it from Harris Ranch to where we are now, Gilroy. It is 2.37 and we have 120 miles left. We now from where we are to the next charge station, which is at Fremont Factory, is 41 miles. And I think we have plenty of miles left to go to Fremont Charge Station. So we could have gone straight from Harris Ranch all the way to Fremont without any problem. Here we are charging. We're in the middle of a parking lot, right here at Gilroy, basically in the middle of a shopping mall, all kind of shops. You can have lunch here while your car is being charged at the supercharger station. Okay, we are up to 256 miles now after about 40 minutes of charge, and we're done with shopping at Gilmore, or Gilroy. We're gonna go to Fremont and we are 41 miles away and from here we probably have enough to go to Berkeley and back here in two days yeah, with really? 256 miles here we are at the Tesla factory like we are currently charging at the Tesla factory in Fremont four or five superchargers around here at the factory they are all occupied and I actually had to wait to get in and there's another guy waiting there after me. You would think that at the headquarter of the world they would have more than four chargers or five chargers but that's all they have. Crossing the John McCarthy Memorial Bridge. We are going to Golden Gate Bridge. Wow, look at that Golden Gate Bridge.
passing the Golden Gate Bridge. Look up. Just to recap on what we did in the last two days, we went from Fremont up to Berkeley. We went over from Berkeley up to Richmond. We crossed the bridge to Murray County, then back down to San Francisco, back to Berkeley, and then now we drove down to back to Fremont. Okay, we are back here at Tesla factory doing a max charge. Let's see where we are. In less than an hour, I'm already almost fully charged, so we're gonna head off now. Way back, we really need only one charge, either here or we here. Go to Harris Ranch, back on five, and then at Harris Ranch, we'll charge and then we can get home or we can go the coastal route but in the interest of time we're gonna go back to five and uh, now with 264 miles range we can easily make it to Harris Ranch I'm gonna hit that navigate proceed to the highlighted route we have 153 miles we just passed Gilroy we still have a hundred nine miles left to go to Harris Ranch and the battery is good for another 216 miles we will bypass Gilroy and go all the way to Harris Ranch we made it to Colinga Harris Ranch we started at 264 miles we drove 154 miles. We still have 85 miles range. Uh, we're gonna charge now, so we can get enough charge to go back to Los Angeles. And here's Harris Ranch Inn. We're gonna go back in for lunch before we have just had lunch. We spent about one hour at Harris Ranch, and we are now at 261 miles, up from 80 some miles. And we're ready to go here. Approaching Dayhound Ranch. We still have 137 miles left from the charge. We are gonna bypass this one and go straight to Los Angeles. We are almost home. Welcome to Los Angeles traffic. The hallway we're averaging about 80 miles per hour, and here we come to a complete stop on 101. We are here at our final destination, Los Angeles. We just drove 192 miles from Colinga, Harris Ranch, and down to Los Angeles. This last leg took us 192 miles, and we still have 40 miles left. So to recap, we have now completed a 864 mile round trip. Starting in Los Angeles, we went to Berkeley, San Francisco, and back to Los Angeles. We were able to use supercharger the hallway for the entire trip of almost 900 miles.